Hey guys, it's me again. We're back. Um, so this is officially video number one. Um, and the very um, very first video, I like to tell people a little bit about Young Living itself, um, the company, what makes it different, and why that's important. Um, because many of you may have gone to like a health food store or a national, natural grocery store and seen essential oils on the shelves, things like lavender and peppermint, and you might be thinking, okay, well, why can't I just use those? Um, and that's a really, really great question and a, one that I always want to tell people about. And so um, if you go to the grocery store and you look at the the back of those bottles, the, one of the first things you're going to see is it says, probably going to say not for internal consumption. Even if the front label says organic peppermint or organic lavender or organic tea tree oil, there really are no um, regulations um, around supplements and using the term organic um, with the FDA. And so some, the company could put literally one drop of organic oil in that bottle and fill the rest of it with inorganic or synthetic oil um, or worse other chemicals and and still be able to put that organic label on it and so um, it's not something you can always trust so I always discourage people from buying those oils even though they may be a little bit less expensive. Um, Young Living um, has is a company that's been around for over 20 years at least as an organized company um, the owner has been distilling oils and and using them um, for even longer than that um, but as a you know organized company young living's been around about 23 years um, <clears throat> they are the the oldest essential oil company um, in the united states and um one of the things that really makes us different is the seed to seal promise. And so you can go to seed to seal com and there's like a cool video and it talks all about it. But in a nutshell, um, really what that means is every single step of the process from the, the choosing of the seeds to the planting of the seeds <laughs> to the cultivation of the plant um, to the harvesting and the distilling and all of the testing that goes on, um, uh, that process is something that that Young Living is very passionate about and making sure that each and every step, the integrity of the oil is maintained, the integrity of the plant, um, no chemicals, no pesticides, no herbicides. Um, they do hand weeding um, and, and, and there's really a lot of care taken to make sure that um, that the the oil the integrity of the oil is preserved and so that way what you are getting in that bottle is safe to use um, because if you are to use herbicides or pesticides or even plant in the ground where those have been used in the past that bonds with the plant and it's not something that you can ever separate again um, so once it's part of the plant it then becomes part of the essential oil if you distill that down it's going to be in that bottle and that's why uh, the ones that you're going to find on the shelves or with other companies, it's going to say not for internal use. They'll say like aromatherapy only. Um, but as you'll learn in, in another video, even just diffusing or breathing those in, you're still getting those those chemicals in. And we'll talk we'll talk about that in a little bit. So. Um, very important to know that there is a distinction between you know, Young Living and other companies, and it's not just some marketing um, ploy. Um, it really is truly um, an important part of who we are. So, um, again, go visit seedtoseal.com, S-E-E-D-T-O-S-E-A-L. <laughs> is that right? Yes, dot com. <laughs> Uh, seed to seal com, and you'll see the video, and then they'll talk a little bit more about the process in detail. Um, but that is really what makes Young Living different and, and just the integrity that they put into the process and, and the care that they have, knowing that these are products that are going to families and they're going to be used on um, kids and pets, um, on, on you, your family. And so that is really important to us. Um, and that, that was one of the things that really um, stuck out to me as I was first learning about essential oils and Young Living and, and you know, had some of those same questions. Okay, well, what makes them different? Why can't I just go to, to Sprouts or that's one of our local grocery stores and, and, and buy them there? And, um, 
And as I did some more research, I was like, oh, okay, well, you know, that really, that's important to me because I'm using these on, on young kids. I'm using them on myself. We have a dog that we use essential oils on sometimes. Um, you know, and I want to make sure that I'm not, I'm not adding, you know, chemicals where I think things are, are natural. Um, and, and so, the, you know, things like that you have to be really aware of, terms like fragrance and um, that you see on, on labels. You know, all of that is sort of code for uh, proprietary chemicals that we don't have to disclose. <laughs> um, and so if you can't, you know, look at the label and see, you know, what the oil is or it's just lemon oil or it's just peppermint oil or we have some blends and it's going to, you know, list all the different oils and that's it. There is nothing else in there. Um, and to me, that is a huge huge um, difference maker and the reason that our our family spends a little bit extra money because we know we're getting good quality oils um, we don't have to use as much of them so really in the long run long run it's not any more expensive um, but um, so that's why Young Living um, is different than a lot of other companies so I always encourage people do your own research um, if you're still not sure you know you know look ask other people um, you know, make sure that you're comfortable with the decision, the decision you, that you're making. And that's really the most important thing. So that's what I encourage everybody to do. So um, in our next video, we're going to talk a little bit about how to use essential oils. Um, there's a couple different ways that you can. Um, and also what is an essential oil. So um, stay tuned and I will be back. Thanks.